Wow, Steve, look at the workshop. You've got so many machines in. JV Precision has been going for a long time. Yes, we uh, have been going 50 years this year. Uh, the company was founded in 1974 by my father, John, and uh, we've grown steadily ever since. Yeah, congratulations on the 50 years. You've been working with Brother and White House Machine Tools for, for quite a long time as well, haven't you? Yes, that's true. Um, I first saw uh, a Brother machine at the NEC in about 1995. Um, hadn't seen anything like it uh, uh, up until then and um, we bought one as a result of that visit to the exhibition and we've been using Brother Machines ever since. And what made you continue that relationship with Brother from almost 30 years ago? Um, without a doubt it's the reliability of the machines. Um, I really can't recall the last time we had an unscheduled service visit from anybody from White House Machines to come and attend to a brother. Yeah, that's a pretty good track record, 29 years without an unscheduled maintenance visit. Um, and that means the machine's broken down. Unscheduled maintenance sounds like a euphemism for the machine's gone wrong. Yep, well, yes, it, 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 it just doesn't happen. Touch wood. Yeah. Mm. And we're here still in front of your newest investment, this really unique machine from White House Machine Tools, the Brother Machine. Before we talk about that, tell me more about the kind of components you make here at JEB Precision. Yes, we, we primarily work for customers in the scientific instrument sector. Uh, we make parts for mass spectrometers, electron microscopes, that sort of industry. But we also do work for other industries as well, whether it be uh, electro-optics or pneumatics, that kind of thing. Um, we work primarily in uh, aluminiums and stainless steels. And we find that this, this brother machine can machine both those materials very, very well. Absolutely. And those, those components require a lot of preci precision, I guess, don't they? Yes, they do. Um, I've always come to expect it from a brother machine. We, we just don't have any problem achieving tolerances with these machines. Yeah, absolutely. How, 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 how do you think the machines have changed? So this is the newest machine, the S300. How has this machine changed, do you think, from the first brother machine, second brother machine that you had in? The, the, the basic design on, on these, these simpler machines hasn't really changed, but it's been improved upon. Um, the, the rapid traverses are so much quicker. The speed of the tool change is so much quicker. But it's all done, as I said before, incredibly reliably. Yeah, absolutely. It's fantastic to hear. Now, the unique aspect of this machine is, obviously, the footprint is absolutely tiny. Why did you need a machine like this, this kind of size? Well, 95% of what we make fit comfortably within the, the stroke of this machine. Uh, we found ourselves with uh, the, the workshop becoming increasingly crowded with all the investments we made over the last 20 years of being in this factory. And uh, a machine with this footprint and its cutting capabilities was absolutely ideal. He sent had no hesitation going back to White House machines for a baby brother, as it were. And what does having this machine on the shop floor mean for the rest of the facility? Well, what it's meant is that we've managed to take work from other machines, which were becoming uh, a bottleneck within the factory, and we can run this on this machine uh, with no compromises in terms of the quality of what we're producing. And the decision to buy this machine is an easy one, given our history with brother machines in the past and the affordable price of this, this little brother. <laughs>